Hi everybody, this is Momo, and today's card is for the My Pink Stamper Challenge, and we're going to be using Forever Young. That's my card base. It's a regular A2 size card, and it's kind of like in a hot pink. And um, my first layer is green, because it's pink, green, and black, the challenge. And I just have a strip of black that I'm going to do the doily Martha Stewart punch on. And then that green um, mat on the other side is four by five and a quarter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and adhere our um, punched edge to the bottom of the card. I'm just going to get some ATG and run it across the bottom. And I always cut my um, strips a little longer just in case I mess up the side of it. I can always trim off the sides which is what you're going to see me do here in a second. We're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to wrap a ribbon around the green piece and I want to do a bow on the side. And I'm just going to wrap it around see how big I need it or how long I need the ribbon to be. And I don't have enough support to tie the bow here, so you're going to see that I run some ATG on the back of it. And I'm going to adhere the ribbon down, and then I'm going to adhere that piece to the card so that I can get a little more support to do the actual bow. And my ATG ran out of tape, so snail adhesive it is. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere it, and that just gives me a little more support to do the ribbon. And it took me a while, so I kind of trimmed off a piece here, and you're going to see it go straight to the bow. And then we're just going to trim off our edges, and we're going to burn them as well. I'm just kind of adjusting here a little bit. Here we go. And of course, the Jingle Bells is Hero, which everybody met in last night's video. And the, those are the little shoes that I cut out from the Forever Young cartridge. I cut them out at 3 inches. And I did the shoe in black and then the layer in a pink glitter paper. I'm just lining everything up. And we're just going to go ahead and use our Zig 2 way and get everything put together. And then I'm going to put some pop dots on the back of those after I figure out where I'm going to put them. So I'm just going to put them on the card and see kind of where I want to put them. I wanted them to look kind of messy, but then I figured that it just didn't look good, so I kind of aligned them. And then we're going to go ahead and put some pop dots on the back of these and adhere them straight onto the card. And I just love the way these shoes came out. They're so girly, and they look so cute with the pink and the bow and everything. Perfect. And then we're going to get our stamp, and it just says Think Pink, and it's by My Pink Stamper. But, of course, it's her challenge. It needs to be her stamp. And then I'm just going to get my bling box, and I'm going to put some bling on this card. Even though the shoes are glittery, I still want a little bit of bling. And these, this bling is just from the dollar section at Michael's, and I'm just seeing um, what I want to use. And I think I'm going to use a really big flower and put it there on the corner, because I just think it looks really cute. And then I thought about putting one on the other side, which you'll see that I'll get the bling and um, actually put it on the other side, but I just thought it was too much, so I took it off. And then I decided just to do little blings on the shoes. And that turned out really cute. I love the way that looks. And that's it. We're pretty much all done with our card. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really simple one. And that's the finished card. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. And I actually wanted to do a poll on this post. Um, I wanted, me and my husband have been debating over which kind of videos you guys like the most. If you guys like the fast forward with the voice over or the way that I used to do them before. So just leave a comment below and let me know which one you like more. And that way I can continue to do it the way that you guys like to watch them. And that's it. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.